Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Today we're here with the round one tips for 2023. We're obviously going to be doing this as a weekly thing. I am so excited to do this. It's been such a long off season and you know, you know, when tipping's around that the footy season is coming back. So that gets me excited. This first round though is going to be challenging the tip. Um, so yeah, like I'm really hoping I get off to a good start this year because I feel like when you get off to a good start, you sort of gradually either get better or worse. Usually, hopefully it's better as you, you know, sort of learn the teams more. But um, yeah, just before we get into it, make sure you guys go ahead and uh, check out my last video. I did a full season predictions. If you want to see my ladder prediction, um, Brownlow, Coleman, stuff like that, go ahead and check that out. Link will be in the description or just go check out my last video. Uh, and also, I've started up a tipping comp, so make sure you guys go ahead and join that before the season starts. Uh, first year doing one of these, so super keen uh, to get that underway as well. And I will hopefully uh, decide on a prize for the winner come the end of the year. So yeah, anyway, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so as we have seen for the last you know six or seven years, we've got Richmond and Carlton uh, taking on each other in round one uh, for the first game of the season, uh, that being at the MCG as usual. This one, it's it just so difficult for me to honestly um, confidently pick a, a team here. Uh, both teams, you know, had a bit of a patchy preseason. They had Richmond obviously playing uh, two preseason games. They got flogged by Melbourne in their second one, but had a pretty um, decent first outing. And, and similar to Carlton, they actually, you know, got over the top of my pies by 10 points in their first outing in the practice game. Uh, and then the, so, uh, the Swans sort of shown them up in that second match, I think, you know, getting the victory by 20 or 30 points. Um, I like to think I'm not basing these too much on preseason predictions because, you know, as I said in my last video, preseason predictions or preseason games, sorry, rarely just reflect on how the first games and how a team actually performs. Um, but for this, I'm going to go with my head here and just say Carlton get it done. Um, I guess the thing is with Carlton is, you know, they've got such a strong team. It's really if they can actually gel together on grounds. But I'm going to say Carlton should get this done, really. Their list is, you know, probably one of the top six lists in the league. Uh, and Richmond, obviously, uh, in my opinion, they're on a little bit of a slide. A slow slide, not a drastic slide. But I'm going to go ahead and say they get it done by uh, 24 points there, Carlton and get off to a 1-0 start for the season. Alrighty, next up we've got uh, the Friday night match and this is the Cats and the Magpies again at the MCG here uh, at 7.40. I'm gonna be going to this, I'm gonna have a vlog for this as well. So uh, that's gonna be awesome. Now the odds are heavily in the Cats favor here going 85% to our 15% here for the Pies, which is expected to be fair. They did beat us twice last year. That being said though, I think personally, and from my non-biased opinion or my biased opinion, depending how you look at it, um, I think we were, the, well, we were the only team to actually get close to the Cats uh, in 2023, or 2022, sorry. Um, and a lot of you guys are gonna disagree with this, but I'm gonna go with the Pies. I'm probably gonna be back in the Pies for most of this year, so don't expect any rational or logical decisions uh, when it comes to tipping, when, when it involves the Pies. Um, like, yeah, realistically, I think this is going to be a close game. Whether it goes the Cats way or the Pies way, I don't know. I'm going to say it goes 10 points either way. Um, both teams having a super uh, off-season there. And it should be a cracking game, realistically. So, yeah, super looking forward to that one. All right, this Saturday game here, we've got uh, the Roos taken on West Coast. Um, this one, for me, is a difficult one because I look at the stats here and I think it's super super um, favorable for the team with a first time coach in their first game to get the win. Last year, we've seen that with um, Sam Mitchell, Michael Voss, and obviously Craig McRae. All three new coaches got a win in their first game. So if you look at it that way, um, North Melbourne probably have the upper hand here. And the 69% uh, North Melbourne's favor here for 31 going West Coast's way. Um, uh, this again is a hard one for me because I think a lot of people could just, just going to go north like that, but West Coast should win this. Like, if I'm thinking logically, um, West Coast should win. They've got an experienced side. Um, they've got finals players. They've got premiership players on this team. But then I think of last year and nothing went their way whatsoever. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to go West Coast. I'm going to say that West Coast do get the job done but again that I might end up changing this in fact no I'm gonna go I'm gonna go north I can't make my mind up there it, it's the first coaching it's the first game statistic that just 
sways me so heavily towards north. It is at Marvel Stadium as well. Yeah, we'll go north. I'm happy with that. All right, so second Saturday match for the rounds. We've got Port Adelaide and Brisbane Lions. This one I was 50-50 on last year, but this is heavily uh, in the favor of the Lions here, going at 80% of people um, tipping the Lions. Uh, and I think this one as well, I am going to go with the Lions pretty confidently here. Um, they obviously had, or they have had a very good preseason in both of their um, preseason matches. Getting over the top of Geelong, by the way, by 50 or so points. That's, I mean, yeah, as I said, I don't like to, you know, lean into the preseason matches, but geez, that just, you know, Geelong don't just get beaten like that uh, for the fun of it. So yeah, pretty confident with the Brisbane Lions here. Port as well, they didn't really do anything to impress in the off season. So pretty confident with that one there. All right, so moving on to the last Saturday game here, we've got the D's taken on the Bulldogs again at the MCG. This one, again, pretty easy one for me, and it seems like most people think that as well. I think the D's have got to get the job done here. I mean, what an offseason they've had as well. Um, they picked up Grundy, and they just looked like they were going to dominate anyone, as they did against Richmond. Again, I know I've said this five times in this video, it is a preseason match, but look, if they get the Gorn and Grundy thing right, I think they're going to have a phenomenal year. And for the Western Bulldogs, well, they really didn't do too much in the offseason. They lost um, Rory Lobb, who's now gone to Fremantle. And, oh, sorry, they've gained Rory Lobb, who's come from Fremantle. But I don't know if that's going to make such a big difference, to be honest. Um, look, they've got some star players there. But if you know, if you've seen my last video, you know how I feel about the Western Bulldogs and how I predict them to go in 2023. So this one here is definitely going to be Melbourne for me. All right, next up, we've got another Saturday game. Wow, I didn't realize there were so many Saturday games. Oh, it's four. I guess that's not actually that many, I guess. Um, and this is the uh, Gold Coast taking on Sydney. This one, I'm sorry. Look, I want to back Gold Coast here. And I, I try to back Gold Coast in some games. But... They got smacked in the preseason, and th this this I am going to base my prediction off because they should not be getting smacked by GWS. Okay, I don't care whether it's a preseason match or not. GWS should be smacking no one in 2023 with the amount of plays they've lost on their list. Um, so that's a pretty easy Sydney Swans for me. I think they did actually win this fixture last year in 2022, uh, or it was one of them uh, throughout the year. I don't know if it was the first time they played. Um, but look, if they're going to go ahead and surprise me, then they're going to go ahead and surprise me. But I can't be back in Gold Coast in this one. So it's the Swans for that. Okay, now surprisingly here for this next match for the Giants and the Crows, the Giants actually have uh, a strong backing. It is at uh, Canberra at Giants Stadium, but I'm actually going to go ahead and go the Crows here. They've sort of impressed me quite a bit uh, on the offseason, the Crows. I think they've got a bunch of really good, young, hungry players. Their pressure game is good. They're, an, they're a hard side to beat. Like, they're one of those teams where they seem to really cling on to what good teams do during games and sort of slow down uh, their effectiveness. And coming up against the Giants, uh, I know Giants did just have a good game against, uh, against the Gold Coast. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to honestly go ahead and back the Adelaide Crows here to get a little bit of an upset. I mean, it shouldn't be a massive upset, but you know, according to what people are tipping, it actually will be an upset. So yeah, I'm going to go the Crows there. And moving on to the second Sunday game of the week, we've got Hawthorne taking on Essendon. This one is a 50-50 for me. Um, it seems like not for everyone though, uh, with Essendon having 75% of the tipping favor here. Um, yeah, this one's really hard and I have been thinking a lot about these tips because a lot of these matches for me were a 50-50, but um, Essendon, um, you know, they didn't have a too impressive game against St. Kilda. Very, very defensive outing they had and it was a low scoring game. Um, but on the other hand, Hawthorne, you know, against us in that first preseason match were very, very free flowing and, you know, seemed to be scoring well. Um, but I think that's definitely going to change. It seemed like a lot of the preseason games were super, super offensive. Uh, and, you know, teams really just testing out the way they want to play rather than trying to actually defend. Um, so I'm going to go Essendon in this first match here, like most people. Um, you know, uh, just a lot more of an experienced team, really. And they should be doing better than Hawthorne, realistically, with where their teams are at. Uh, unless they significantly underperform, then you know, something might go wrong or could go wrong for this first match. Uh, first match. Um, but yeah, I think Essendon will get the job done there with their new coach again. So that's the other thing. First game, first, uh, first coach statistic. We'll see how that plays out. All right, and that brings us to the last game of the round, and that is St. Kilda and Fremantle. I forgot who won this last year. I think it was 
St. Kilda that won this last year. I could be wrong, correct me down below. Um, but this again is another 50-50 for me. It is at Marble Stadium and it is slightly in the favor of Fremantle here. They did have a much better off season um, the, the Freo free Dockers, well, from my point of view here and what I've seen from them. Um, again, not trying to heavily tip into what happened in the preseason or, you know, what I've just recently seen. Um, but I think they're just, they've got more of a solid game plan. They sort of know what they're doing. They're more settled with their coach, obviously. St. Kilda having that new coach coming in or Ross Lyon returning. They're probably still changing up things a little bit um, from what they've practiced in the offseason. And I think Frio should get the job done here. And I'm going to say that's they get that done pretty confidently. Three or four goals there. Um, but yeah, that just about wraps up my 2023 round one predictions, guys. Let me know what you think down below. I want to hear it. I want to know what you guys are thinking. And again, make sure you guys go ahead and check out my last video as well as um, go ahead and join the tipping comp down below. Super keen to get that underway. And um, yeah, that will be about it for now. My next video will be the round one uh, vlog uh, with the cats and the pies. Looking forward to that. But um, yeah, if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video, all that. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.